hi everyone hope you're doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is my youtube channel where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic and today's topic is the next uh, uh, part in our functional consultant series where we come and talk about as a functional consultant what are the key skill set or the key activities or the responsibilities which you have it apart from the product knowledge which you should be aware about and today we are going to talk about uh, a very important milestone in the whole project life cycle which is the testing and we would like to explore this uh, that what is the importance of this particular phase and what are the key responsibilities as a functional consultant you have it now before we start talking about what activities you will be performing let's start from the basic that how the the testing works in any project what are the key things which we should be aware about as functional consultant which we can understand and based on that we can perform our activities now in this specific uh, video we will be talking about the different test strategy component so that we understand the fundamentals here first so without further delay let's start uh, let's move to the next uh, slide now first point is why do we test what is what are the benefits which we get it, uh, get out of this test phase and there are plenty of benefits uh, we have it and most of the project uh, I have seen having a trouble while going live or the post go live just because we have not tested thoroughly during the test phase so it is very crucial for us that we utilize this particular phase in the time and then we test the solution thoroughly this helps us in like ensure business can operate safely and efficiently in production understand the behavior of the solution validate the design what we gathered or what we have designed or what we have discussed with our stakeholders it has been designed as per that derive the feedback validate the data quality ensure the solution still works if there are bugs find out them validate all the requirements which you have identified whether those are working or not working uh, performance user experience so we try to validate each and every aspect not only the solution user experience performance data everything security everything and that is the reason we need to test the solution now when we plan our testing there are four basic component which as a i mean not as a function consultant is our responsibility but as solution architect someone will come and define the test strategy and when they are defining it they have the four key components in mind when we when they are defining one is the project scope so what is our scope for this the different test types and the phases how we are going to manage the test so the complete test management process and then the test planning now though it is a part of the solution architect responsibility but as a functional consultant we should be aware about when they are designing this because we play a very crucial role in all these components and during this whole phase so let's move to the next slide and understand that what are the project scope and definitions in the test strategy contains now when we talk about the project scope right so product project scope map to the test scope right so we have a project scope defined in the beginning of the project now how that is aligned with our test scope so a clearly defined project scope helps you define test scope end to end to be business processes provided context for requirements and the test suitability many aspect of the product scope helps determine the required test coverage now if you look at the right hand side 
these are the different components which you need to consider while defining your scope that what are the business processes you have in scope to be business process not ss what are the data integrations migration and reporting the bad jobs the geographical location scope right security the different project roles which you have it the complex and custom designs non functional requirements such as the performance impact of the process changes right and the business goals so now when you are defining your testing strategy you need to consider all these components while creating your test scope now what are the different test types in the test phases which we have it now if you look at this so first thing is what is test phase and what is the test type so the test phase is set of testing processes executed based on a phase or the milestone in the project for example at a sprint end or a build complete typical test phases are sit uat during a design also we call it like build build phase also we call like that's a phase for the unit testing or or, or some something right but then what is a test type a uh, test type can be part of the test phase or uh, repeated many times on a project for example performance testing and some test types can also be considered as a test phases depending on the methodology for example cut over testing uh, test type is not necessarily tied to a milestone but key thing is to understand what are the different test types which we have in and i mean which potentially you can have in any project now if you look at this screen right hand side this one so this is just consider like these are the different test phases so we have build milestone let's say we have system integration we have the user acceptance now according to these phases what are the different test uh, types you might perform right so you have the different unit test user acceptance regression interface end to end test security data set performance process and functional test so these are the potential type of test which you can perform in any of the uh, test phase uh, which you have it as part of your project so let's move to the next one now if you want to divide these different test types which you had in the last slide as per your different uh, project phases uh, so you have let's say the initiate phase where you get ready to start uh, you have the design and build phase then you have a prepare where you do uh, e to e uat and deploy and then the operate so this is how your different test types are spread across your project phases so unit test is done basically in the design and build the functional test process test end to end is done even till the uat uh, performance is also done till uat security is also done to till uat regression is done throughout the project the interface is done almost to the uat and then the data validation and then the uat itself is the phase in the project so this is this helps you to understand that uh, how these different test types are spread across your different project phases now how is the test management process so now we understood the scope we now understood the different test types and the phases now how you are going to manage that also needs to be defined as part of your is part of your test strategy so now in that one thing these are the key things which you need to keep in mind that test preparations uh, so what should be done who will do when it will be done and how it will be done so that should be very clear that the test preparation part right the test roles and the responsibilities right so define for all the element of testing if possible a dedicated test manager role is assigned for the test management for all the types so in any big project uh you will find there is a dedicated test manager who is managing all these things and managing the entire process then you need to have the test uh, cases and the test scripts written so who will do what is the source what data acceptance criteria and the reliability of those test cases or the test 
scripts then in the management process it is very important for you to have a defect and tries uh, uh, fix and the retest cycle so define the defect and the identification disposition and the retest uh, life cycle then how you are going to manage this with the different tools so agile devops usually we use it so maintaining the test cases the results the test execution and then the finally you have the test report where you have the uh, project uh, test report and the stakeholders uh, are also going to review that uh, particular test uh, cycle or the test phase and they are going to sign off on that so for managing the test uh, uh, cycle completely you need to consider these component for the test management part if you consider the testing throughout the solution life cycle how it looks so any of the testing which you are performing it can be functional test uat or anything so you need to have a proper entry criteria which means the old test scripts created test context and the environment readiness data readiness test attributes everything is available for you right then the test data loads or the sample data creation and then you perform the testing and then you have the final data preparation where the you have the outcome documents you have the exit criteria where solution has been validated or any criteria or the milestone which you have set up as part of your testing process uh, test management process and then end it and then you repeat for or deploy this if you are having another cycle you will repeat this and then you or if it is not then you will deploy that solution throughout this life cycle you also have the defect management where if you are getting the different bugs and the issues you manage them and you you define the priorities you assign it to the relevant people so that that can be resolved so that's how you manage your test the now, now last part is the test planning so when you are talking about that test planning take a holistic approach during the test planning for all the different test types and the phases so the test plan so overall test plan within the project plan includes all the test phases and the test types the efforts cycles and the resources so include the effort and the resources for each test phase including the estimated test iterations so if you are going to perform four iteration three iteration two iteration you need to document that related task and the dependencies you need to be very clear about that what are the different tasks which you are going to perform and is there any dependency you are having to perform those testing tasks right alm in testing context so code management uh, software packaging and troubleshooting and bug fixing so you need to plan that if you are having a development and the customizations your the code management is up to date and you are following a cycle and then you also deploy your latest code which needs to be tested the test output the consider the retest iterations outcome based on the results and the exit criteria so these are the key components under the test planning which you need to consider for when you are talking about the test ready and you should be aware about all these things as a functional consultant so that's it for this particular video the objective of this video was to make you aware about the test strategy that when we are in when we are part of a project how the test strategy is being defined and what are the key components are there now from here we will break this down into our role specific thing which is a functional consultant so in the next uh, video we will be talking about what are the different test types which we saw today Uh, where the functional consultant is responsible and what actually we are testing there and then in the further videos we will talk about how do you create the test script test plans and using the azure devops and then we will move further hope this helps you to understand the test uh, uh, phase uh, and give you the good overview about the testing phase in any project and we will continue with this uh, Uh, topic in next couple of videos thank you for watching see you in the next one